if I'm shooting in the studio, I'm 100% tethering to a computer because I don't trust the monitor on the camera. And typically, if a client is involved, they want to see what the shots look like, so a larger viewing screen helps everyone. The place that I put my computer, the monitor, my camera, and whatever else is called my digital cart, and that's what this is. Now, there are a ton of other solutions that are bigger, smaller, more expensive, less expensive, but, but ultimately, if your goal is to tether, you might want to just look into one of these options to consider based off of how much you feel like spending. So as you build out your cart, you'll start finding all these different bells and whistles you can add to it. And there's a lot of interesting pieces that you can use to kind of make it uniquely your own. So I'll run through some of the things that I think are really interesting about this cart in general and then how I personally set mine up. So one of the main things that I appreciate is just having these heavy duty air filled wheels to make pushing it around so much easier. And they had this foot brake that you can apply to make sure that it doesn't just roll around all over the studio. You've got these toolless grips that you can attach onto the post to help you steer the cart, which are life changing. And then there's the soft plush fabric that covers each shelf top to keep those lenses and other valuables safe. So everything that I've pointed out up to this point is pretty much standard when you're buying the cart. But now this is when things become a bit more unique to my specific setup. Starting off with this multi-monitor mounting system that I use for the computer monitors and sometimes video monitors. I typically have two monitors that are set up in opposite directions so that one can be used for me and one can be used for the client. And we're both able to see the images unobstructed. You'll notice I kind of hodgepodge pieces together. So in this situation, I have like an innovative mount that I have had for I don't know a year or two before I even purchased this cart and if they fit the situation that I have I'll use them again another one of these situations where I've had something for a long time and I'm just reintegrating it into my system is this innovative plate for my laptop it has 161 holes and they're threaded holes specifically that allow me to mount different things onto the actual plate You'll see here that I had an HDMI splitter connected so that I'm able to run both of my monitors straight to one USB-C port. These days, most of my productions now are hybrids between photo and video. So what I like to do is have an A10 Mini on the top of my cart that I can import all of the cameras, whether it be BTS or primary cameras. I'll be able to see the feeds on this little monitor that I've dedicated specifically for the A10 feed. On the back, it has these inputs I can put a camera in, and then I'm gonna take the HDMI out and send it to the monitor that I have over here. And be clear, this monitor, like the computer monitors up at the top, are nothing special, just something I found on Amazon that allowed me to have an HDMI in, HDMI out, SDI in, and SDI out. Has a few different mounting points too that make it kind of nice, and I literally just use it to have line of sight for the A10 feed. Now, one of the more unique and interesting things on my card is this camera holster ring. I'm late to the party, I know. I'm sure a lot of people have already heard of these, but I myself have never seen them before. And when I saw one, I had to get one. I really, I really got two. And basically all it is is an area for me to leave my camera in between shots. Next up and the final thing on the list is how I power this entire cart. And that's using the EcoFlow Pro. The EcoFlow Pro has three USBs across the front with the USB-C, turn it to the side. You got three plugs. I put a strip in there so that I can get a few more plugs. One of the best features about this is that you can plug it to the wall to allow it to continue charging and while it's charging it'll still power up all your devices you can disconnect it from the wall it'll continue powering your devices uninterrupted so that you're able to move the cart around the studio or your location unencumbered and not having to deal with any issues that's it that's my cart those are the pieces that I have on the cart. This is a new build for me, so I'm sure as I start to shoot with it, things will change, pieces will swap out. I'll figure out what to do with all of these cables. I'll get some real monitors that I'll bring in and I'll keep you all updated. Feel free to leave me some feedback in the comments on what else you'd like to see. Peace.